You know, one of the great things about not working is that I have more time to do the things that I enjoy. Like, I enjoy watching everybody else gone to work in the morning. <laughs> it's very interesting. Look, he's catching a bus. Here's a guy catching a cab. <laughs> Here's a guy, Gesundheit. He's catching a coat. <laughs> you know, I also enjoy listening to classical music because it takes such genius. Do you know that Mozart wrote a whole symphony when he was only eight? People don't know that Mendelssohn wrote the whole opera when he was 12, Chopin. Wrote a Polonaise when he was only six. Maybe it's not that tough after all. <laughs> Anyway, today I have to make a major decision. Should I buy a new digital audio tape player or not? This is a, one of the new state-of-the-art music players. You know, it's also the new state-of-the-art way of making a fortune. <laughs> you see, every five minutes they come out with a new way to hear an old song. First, they had a 78. Not so hot, they tried a 45. A little too slow, a 33. <laughs> then they tried an 8-track. Not so hot, a 4-track. Why try a 2-track? Oh, well, how about a CD, a D8 D? <laughs> Do you know that so far it cost me over $10,000 to hear a symphony by Beethoven that he wrote when he was deaf? <laughs> Whoa, there's the newspaper. I better go down and look at it. I might find out that uh, there's something new to enjoy. <laughs> use too much cream cheese, it clogs your arteries. I'm not putting it on the arteries, I'm putting it on the bag. <laughs> Is that the uh, classified section? Oh, no, it's the travel section. Oh, they're advertising now jobs in the travel section. <laughs> Listen, what would you say if I tell you that I'm going hot air ballooning over Pittsburgh? <laughs> I'd say eat all the cream cheese you want. <laughs> There's good things happening every day. Listen to this. Look at this. Gala Mystery Weekend Spectacular. Unleash your private detective fantasies on a secluded country estate as you attempt to solve the case of their missing heiress. Boy, this sounds like a fantastic thing to do. You're going to find a missing heiress? You have trouble finding your pants anymore. <laughs> come in, come in. Oh, morning. Oh. Hello, Maddie. <laughs> How do you do? You know, this is a fantastic neighborhood we're living in. So every single morning, the door opens, and a stunning girl is standing in front of you with a smile on her face. Where do you see this anyplace else? Who is this girl? I'll kill her. <laughs> You've had coffee, Maddie. Yeah, no thanks. I just came over to talk to Jackie for a second. Well, I've got laundry to fold. <laughs> Where are you running all the time? Just because she came in to talk to me doesn't mean that the conversation is going to be about anything uh, intimate or anything uh, romantic. Uh, Unless I get lucky. <laughs> Stay, B. This is not his lucky day. <laughs> Sometimes I find rolling socks into a bowl very soothing. <laughs> About dinner tomorrow night. <laughs> oh, oh uh, I made a reservation. Chung Ching Dragon tomorrow. Are you up for a change of plans? Why not? Where? Well, my brother Michael's house, because Barbara's invited us to dinner. It's impossible. You know, when a, when a person's stomach is all set for Chinese food and he tries to switch, it's like a shock. <laughs> it's a shock to the system. It's like a man who, who arranges a prenuptial agreement with a woman and then he finds out <laughs> she's got all the money. Oh, what? Look, we'll eat Chinese next week. We'll go to my brother's tomorrow night. Well, tomorrow night? Uh, tomorrow night I can't even make it. It's impossible. Well, two seconds ago, you said we had a reservation at the Ching Chong Dragon. Uh-huh. Oh, 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 I'm glad you reminded me. I have to cancel that reservation. Are you going to do this to me again? 
Why, did I ever do it before? Mm-hmm. The last time we were invited to Barbara and Michael's. Uh-huh, is that right? Mm-hmm. What are you up to this time? Uh, bowling. <laughs> bowling? Bowling, sure, sure. Uh, <laughs> so? <laughs> Don't I deserve even the courtesy of a better excuse? Listen, I have to tell you the truth there. I don't want to go there. Well, that's honest, but it's not good enough. Do you think that I don't know that you and my brother don't get along? I was on the news. <sighs> Look, Barbara and I felt that when you and Michael met, you got off to a bad start, so we'd like you to try again. Listen, you, you, you're putting too much importance on this whole idea of getting along. It's important to me. I can't stand listening to the two of you sniping at each other. Well, he sniped first. <laughs> now I'm going to have to call Barbara and tell her it's off again. And I can't tell her the truth because she'll feel awful, so I'll have to use that dumb bowling excuse, which everybody knows is ridiculous, so I'll feel like an idiot. Well, come to think of it, you might just as well go bowling because I don't want to see you tomorrow night at all. Oh. Well, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> call up a Jewish girl and go to the movies. <laughs> I can't go into this now, Arlene. I'm not in my office. I agree with you 100%. Hi, Jackie. Maddie's over at the child care center. She'll be back in a minute. What's the matter, sweetheart? You got a problem? My sister, she can't stand the fact that I'm single. She wants to fix me up with every guy she knows. That doesn't sound like such a terrible thing to me. <laughs> They're losers, every one of them. The Surgeon mm -hmm. General should stamp warning labels on their foreheads. <laughs> <laughs> so just don't let her fix you up if you don't like it, that's all. Who can stop her? I'll tell you the truth, I don't know what to tell you. This is not my field. <laughs> She's even got my mother out looking for a man for me. <laughs> to me, it sounds like you have nothing but love in your house. It doesn't sound like aggravation. You should, thank God, make the best of it. <laughs> well, I guess you're right. <laughs> tell them I'll call them back as soon as I get those figures. Hello, Jackie. Oh, hello. You know, you know, uh, your problem right now with your social life reminds me of a story. You know, a long time ago, there was a fantastic girl that I knew. A uh, Maddie. Listen, I'm talking about a long time ago. There. Pay attention, please, sweetheart. <laughs> you see, it was way before Maddie. It was a whole lot of person. Anyway, this whole lot of fantastic person wanted me to go to our brother's house for a dinner. Uh, Michael's house. Maddie wanted you to go to Michael's house for dinner. Please, please, try to concentrate. Uh, this was, I told you, a long time ago, before Maddie, before Michael, prehistoric animals roamed the earth when this one Do <laughs> you see what I'm trying to tell you? It was long ago. Right. <laughs> So, I didn't want to go because, listen, I knew the brother wasn't too crazy about me. But I decided to go to the dinner anyway. You know why? Because I realized that if it means so much to a friend, then you should do it no matter what. Do you understand the point that I'm making? <laughs> yes, I do. Don't interrupt, please. I'm talking to her. <laughs> Helen, do you understand my point? I think you're saying you're sorry you're so stupid this morning and <clears throat> you're going to Michael's house for dinner tomorrow night. Mm-hmm. You told her about all this, didn't you? Uh, and so did you. I just left out the part about the prehistoric animals roaming the earth. <laughs> I've got to run. Have fun tomorrow night, Jackie. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm so glad that you've changed your mind. So am I. Don't worry about tomorrow night. You'll be fine. If you're there, I'll be fine. Me? Who said I'll be there? <laughs> Helen, do you want to go to the Jing Chang Dragon tomorrow night? <laughs> I can't find my pen. Ah. <laughs> Not now, darling. I'm learning my lines. Now, I'm regular again. <laughs> now, I'm regular again. <laughs> ah. You look very handsome tonight. Well, it's not my fault. It, it's my jeans. <laughs> very sweet. Well, have a nice evening. <laughs> What's wrong? I can't have a nice evening when you told me to have a nice evening. <laughs> what? There's something wrong here. It's not like you to tell me to have a nice evening when you know I'm going out with Maddie. I love Maddie. I know you love Maddie. You love me too. <laughs> but together. Gets you nauseous. <laughs> Until tonight. Tonight, for some strange reason, we became your favorite couple. Why is that? Why? 
because maybe this dinner will show you once and for all that you and Mary are from different worlds. And when you see that for yourself, you won't think of me as the bad mother who pokes her nose into her son's business. You asked me why. I told you why. <laughs> so why don't you say so in the first place? Why do you tell me to go have a good time when you know that you mean exactly the opposite? I don't think this is the way for a mother and a son to communicate. Jackie, have a rotten time. <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> All I said was finish your homework and then you can watch the movie. What's the big deal? Because you can't force us around. Mom hasn't left yet. <laughs> Johnny, don't you have some homework to do? Why is everybody so hung up on homework around here? <laughs> Mom, will you establish bedtime because I don't want to be the bad guy? 9.30 for everybody. 8.30 for you, Molly. And 10 o'clock for me. And 9.30 for you. Mom! It's the whole night. But Gary's mom lets him stay up till 10 o'clock. Well, I'll call her tomorrow morning and put a stop to that. <laughs> you would, too. I'll get it. Who is it? It's me, Jackie. Who's that? It's Molly. Oh, so open the door. I'm not supposed to open the door unless I'm sure who it is. <laughs> Wait a second. How do I know you're really Molly? I might be Jackie and you might be some other little kid. On the other hand, if I'm not Jackie and you're not Molly. Mom, Jackie's here. <laughs> oh, Jackie, you look terrific. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. You need to have a suit, though. You know, it's just a little dinner. Oh, it's just a little suit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get my jacket. I'll be right down. <laughs> You're eating dinner on Uncle Michael's? Yeah, that's where we're going tonight. I thought Uncle Michael hated your guts. Molly! <laughs> I'm ready. Let's go. Is it true that your brother hates my guts? No, he does not. I heard it from a very reliable source. <laughs> but Molly, your uncle doesn't hate Jackie. I don't know why she said that. But, Mom, remember Uncle Michael said he wished you dumped the little Jewish guy? <laughs> well, that doesn't mean he hates you. I suppose among the Irish, this is a tribute. <laughs> Hello, hello. Yeah. Mm. Maddie, Jackie, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, welcome, welcome. <laughs> I hope we're not late. No, it's my own fault. I, I stopped at a bakery. Oh, you didn't have to. I learned this from my mother many years ago, that you never go to anybody's house empty-handed. Even if you come to evict somebody, you bring a little piece. <laughs> well, thank you. We can have it for dessert. Uh, this is my son, Brecken. Oh, Brecken, Brecken. I never heard a name like that before. <laughs> well, dinner won't be long, so just sit down, everyone, and relax. I'll help you in the kitchen, Barbara. Excuse me, Jackie. Uh -huh. Sit down. Why not? Thank you. Uh, you're welcome here. <laughs> so, did you find a job yet? <laughs> I'm not looking for a job. Don't you feel like a bum? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a walk. That's what I feel like. <laughs> hey, this is very interesting. Is this the real thing? This is real as they come. I bagged it in 86. That's some antler span, huh? Oh, yeah, that's a beautiful span. You know, I saw spans all over the world, but not like this. This is the top span. <laughs> of all the spans, I would say there's no such span any place. I don't care where you <laughs> You know, over the fireplace of my house, uh, we have a picture, too. A picture of my Aunt Esther from Krakow. Uh, come to think of it, they could be sisters. <laughs> Do you hunt? Jews don't hunt. We shop. <laughs> this way we could buy whatever we want to eat and we don't have to hang up the leftovers on the wall. Dinner's ready. Thank God. Oh, thank God. Are you expecting somebody? Me? Oh, no. No, not me. Why, it's Bill. <laughs> hey, Maddie, look who's here. It's your old flame, Bill. Got a boy, Bill. Hello, everyone. Hi, Maddie. Well, I, I don't want to disturb you folks, but I, I was over at the bar, and uh, Bert said he'd feel a lot better if you had the cash from the till. So I said I'd, I'd run it over. Is that a man? Is that a man? <laughs> Is he some guy? Hey, Bill, as long as you're here, won't you stay for dinner? It's the least we can do for somebody who's come all that distance. Right, Barbara? 
Bob's only a block up the street. <laughs> Jack and Bill and I used to date each other back in high school. Oh, that's very nice. And Michael has been trying to get us together ever since, hasn't he, Bill? Well, I, I don't know. I... Well, let's eat. I'm hungry as a bear. And this is obviously his dumbest attempt yet to accomplish it, isn't it, Bill? Oh, how could you think I'd set something like this up? What do you think, Bill? <laughs> well, uh, you know I'd love to stay, but uh, actually There was I've... never a word of collusion between us. Why is there, Bill? Never a word. Why, Bill and I didn't even speak to each other for weeks now. I, I really have to leave now. You're the little Jewish guy, right? <laughs> no, no, I'm the tall Gentile. A throwing darts takes a steady hand and total concentration. Mm -hmm. It originated in Ireland in the 14th century. Michael, Jackie's bored to death. This, the Blonnie Stone story was a little dull, but this, this is very interesting. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to tell all my friends about this. It's interesting. To... <laughs> well, maybe after dinner we could play a game. Darts? Uh, my mother always told me never to play darts because it could poke somebody's eyes out. <laughs> She even told me not to use the ones with the suction cups because they could suck somebody's eyes out. <gasps> Wait, I forgot something. I almost forgot to put out the matzah. Oh. <laughs> oh, he may want them. Well, that's very sweet. You don't have to go through all that trouble. So you guys like to eat these little crackers instead of bread, don't you? Well, to tell you the truth, we mostly eat them on Passover, that's all. Why? Oh, you see, Brecken, when the Jews were fleeing from Egypt, they didn't have time to bake bread in the normal way, so it came out like this. Well, hopefully tonight I won't have to flee too much, so I could eat the regular bread. <laughs> Did I do something wrong? No, no, as a matter of fact, I eat this all year round now. This way I stay in shape for fleeing. <laughs> so, Maddie, now you know all about this kind of thing, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, you pick up a thing or two when you hang around Jackie. Like what? Like how to be funny, and how to be warm, and how to be loving. I had to ask. <laughs> so, Jackie, let me ask you a kind of a personal question. Michael? Please, ask. So what's going to be with you and my sister? Knock it off, Michael. Why? All I know about him, he's out of work. He's not our kind of person. How dare you, Michael? How dare you? I don't know him. He's somebody else in my husband's body. <laughs> Brother, I've got the right. You've got no right to anything. I can't believe it. I sat here all night and let you put Jackie on the spot like this. I never did. Did I put you on the spot? Uh, this is not a bad spot, dude. <laughs> it's better to hang it on the wall over the fire. We should have left the minute you had Bill trot over here like some puppy. I brought Jackie here because I thought at least in your own house you'd try to be pleasant. What? I just ask a simple question. A simple question that's none of your business. Come on, Jackie. Well, the food was great. Thank you, Barbara, but I've had my fill of my brother. I'm sorry I put you through this, Jackie. Come on, we'll go right home. We'll only take you. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> this has been a fantastic dinner. I, I, I never knew the Irish people cook so good. And roast beef with mayonnaise and, uh, and carrots with peas and peas with other peas and mayonnaise with, the, with potatoes and the mayonnaise with the wine. <laughs> What are you doing? Well, well I, uh, I was just noticing the big difference about the, between Jews and Gentiles when they're having a dinner. You know, at a Jewish dinner, no matter how big the fight gets, people could be fighting, screaming, punching, kicking, but they keep eating. <laughs> at a Gentile dinner, there's one little argument, Mike. Everybody runs through the doors, through the ceilings, through the floors. Mike, is it busy here? <laughs> Don't make light of this, Jackie. Listen, I'm not, uh, I'm not trying to make light of it. I just thought that I would uh, come here and uh, smooth things over between me and uh, another person. And I noticed instead of making things better, I seem to be making it worse. Not you. He did. It's not my fault. No, sorry. It's my fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not my fault. No, right. Let's be honest it's about it. It's nobody's fault. No, wrong. Happens to be your fault. <laughs> Well, yeah, you wanted us to get along as good as possible, and it disturbed you that we were sniping at each other, so uh, so you thought it was a terrible problem. The truth of the matter is it's not so terrible if people snipe at each other. People snipe at each other in the best of families all over the world. The main thing is that people should get along. What is it your business? What is it my business? What is it my business? I will tell you what Matt, is my... Jackie's right. 
Wait a second. Why are you interrupting her? This is your sister. Can't you let her finish her son? She's my sister, and I don't need a stranger telling me how to treat her. Uh, Jackie's not a stranger, Michael. Well, listen, if you want to think I'm a stranger, I'm a stranger. Hi, thank you. You're welcome. You two want to dislike each other? Go ahead. Is that your point? Positively. Michael? Absolutely. That's it. Fine. So how about that game of darts? You don't have cards? I do. You play Jim Rowey? I do. Wait a second. Are we getting married or are we going to play a game? <laughs> come on, come on. Boy, I really feel emotionally drained from tonight. You know, the toughest part of all this was having our first argument. I yelled at you yesterday morning. You certainly did, but uh, don't feel bad. I, I yelled at you a lot tonight. I'm just really glad that you care enough to feel upset. You know, that's right. When people get involved with each other, it's a natural thing that they, that they sometimes fight. It's just another way of expressing love. Did you say love? I said love. <laughs> I, love I also said expressing. I said people. I said, I said you know, I say a lot. <laughs> Maybe we should fight more often. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Hello, little girls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I learned something today. It's not good being on the outs with a person who has a moose head on the wall. <laughs> I learned this when I was getting my coat out of his closet and three big rifles fell on my foot. <laughs> you know, I learned another thing. I learned something that's even more important. Never play cards for money. The simple fact is that living every day is a gamble enough. You could eat a bad piece of fish. You could get hit by a truck. You could get stuck with a big check in a restaurant. <laughs> so, that's it. Another great decision I made on this roof. I'm not playing cards anymore, and that's it. Because this lousy son of a gun beat me out of eight dollars and twenty-five cents. This is Charles Gibson. And Joan London. Tomorrow, the poetry of Jimmy Stewart. Also, Masters of Illusion, Siegfried and Roy. Then later in the week, Growing Pain star Joanna Kearns on Good Morning America. Sunday at 7, 6 Central, Corky is running for class president on the series premiere of the show the critics are raving about, Life Goes On, followed by the premieres of Free Spirit and Home Room on their regular night. Now stay tuned for the season premiere of 30-something, winner of four Emmy Awards. Next.